Welcome back to another video tutorial on learning both ArcGIS and QGIS simultaneously. So in this video, we are going to learn about filtering a shapefile map layer based on attributes. So let's start with that of ArcGIS. So here I have a shapefile layer of a Nigerian state loaded in my ArcGIS environment. If you open up the attribute table, you will see that we have this particular column called name one and those are the names of the states of the polygon futures and uh, if you have watched the previous videos of course you know how i obtain this particular shape file so now there are instances whereby if you are working on a map for example you would like to just have maybe some few selected polygons display on your map uh, area so usually there are several ways to get this done and one of the ways is by selecting the polygons and then exporting them into a new polygons so for instance let's assume the states you want to work with are these three polygons so you can select them maybe abuja nasarawa and uh, koji when you go back to the attribute table of course you can select the three polygons fct when you select it, then select uh, Koji. You hold on your control button and then select uh, Nasarawa state. So these are the three states polygon I want to have on my map. So I can now right click, go to data, and then export these selected polygons. And then later on, import or add them, add the selected polygons that I've exported back as a layer. So this is one way of doing it. And in my opinion, it's not an elegant way of doing it because you will end up creating more data on your machine, occupying more, using more memory space on the machine. So a, smart, a smarter way to do this is what I'm going to show you now. Uh, to have only these three polygons, only these three states display on your map canvas, what you need to do is to filter them out. We are going to filter the polygons we don't want out of the map area. So we'll do that by right clicking on the layer, then we we'll go to properties. So from the properties dialog box, from the layer property dialog box, you go to query definition query. So this is where you now write a query that will hide the remaining polygons and leave only the few polygons you want to work with. So here we want to work with these three polygons, Abuja, that's Federal Capital, Nasarawa, and then Koji State. So what I will do is to come here. If you know how to write the query by hand, you can simply type it here. But if you don't know, you can use this query builder to assist you in building the query. So remember, the attribute column that has the name that contains the names of the state is called name one as i've showed you earlier so when you double click on name one it will write it here so name one then in then you open parenthesis then within the parenthesis you choose the names so i'm clicking on after selecting on the column name i click on get unique value to get to display the names within the within the attribute column so here i have one of the items that's federal capital i want to display then i will now separate the next state with a comma the next one is nazara state then comma then the next one is a uh, Koji state. So you scroll to where you have Koji state and select it. So these are the names of the polygons based on the attribute column name one. So if you are using a different data, of course, this syntax here will vary depending on the kind of data you have at hand. So but the format of writing the query, which is basically an SQL query, is like this. So after which you can verify to be sure that your syntax is correct. So let's click on verify button. 
and then we have a success message that the expression was successfully verified so with this we can now click on ok and then to apply the syntax here the expression here so those i've said earlier on you can type the expression here directly if you know the name of the attribute column and the names of the polygons you want to select so after which you can now click on apply or click on ok well let's first of all click on apply to see what we have so as you can see if i click on apply it apply the filtering so here i have click on ok here i have only the polygons i want to work with you can zoom to layer extent so these are the only polygons that i'm interested in and instead of me exporting them as a new separate layer i can use this particular method to filter my polygons out so as you can see this is our federal capital territory this is the nasarawa polygon and this is the koji polygon so if you are done with your job and you want to have the other polygons back you simply come back here then delete whatever is here then click on apply and all other polygons will come back automatically so this is an elegant way of applying filtering to your shapefile uh, map layer in uh, arcgis now let's see how we can do the same thing in uh, qgis so here i am in uh, qgis so to do the filtering in qgis all you need to do is to right click on the layer this is the layer here and then select filter but before then let's check the attribute column to be sure that we are using the same data so this is actually the column we are interested in so we're going to filter the map layer based on this particular column in our attribute table so here is federal capital territory if you select it is this then the next polygon we are interested in are nasarawa and koji so I'll come back look for nasarawa this is nasarawa hold down the shift select it locate koji hold down the shift button on your keyboard and select it so we have the three polygons selected just like this so with the polygon selected like this you can right click export selected features and then add them as a new layer but that is not an elegant way to go about it just imagine if you have thousands of polygon to select or to work with to hide and show doing this using this method will not be effective you select the polygon then you go to save selected future you have just few polygons in a particular shape file then you add the shape file back and then you work with it no that is not effective so an elegant way a more effective way is to right click on the layer then come to filter then under the filter write an sql expression that will filter out the polygons you are not interested in so you can do that by double clicking that's all the attribute column name here is name one then we can display sample data then we can go ahead and type in then open parenthesis then within the parenthesis you now enter the names of the polygons separated by comma then the last one i think is nasarawa you click on all to see all the visual all the names and then nasarawa so i could have just copy what i have here and paste there it will still work as you can see the syntax is still the same thing first of all we have the name of the column attribute column then the in this is a keyword in sql in then space then in parentheses we'll have we now have the names of those polygons so i can test my expression and here we have a success result 
there were clauses returned three rows. So this is a success response. So I can now click on OK to apply it. So you can see it has hidden all the polygons we are not interested in. And it has left us with just the three polygons we are interested in. So if you are done with your work and you want to show the hidden polygons, all you need to do is to go back, right click, go back to filters, and then remove the expression. Then click on OK. The other polygons will return. So this is how to apply filters in both ArcGIS and the QGIS. And I hope you find it useful in your GIS data processing.